What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and in this video, I'll be showing y'all how you can customize your iPhone using a really cool new iOS 15 feature. Now this will let you add any emoji you want in your status bar, and you can see I have the fire emoji right here. So, without further ado, let's get started. This tutorial is pretty simple, and here's what you're going to want to do. First thing you're going to want to do is open up the settings on your iPhone. Now, once you've opened up those settings, you want to go to this app called Focus. Once you've done that, go ahead and tap the plus button. Now you're going to have the option to add a focus activity for your phone. Just ignore that. You're going to want to create a custom one. First, you're going to want to name it, and this is critical, otherwise it won't let you continue. So I'm going to name this test, you know, it's just testing one, two, three. Once I have the name, you can choose the color. The color doesn't really matter. But now you can choose your emoji. And for iOS 15.3 beta, Apple actually added two emojis. So it does look like Apple will be adding more emojis later on. But you could see you got a gift emoji, a happy face emoji, and I believe they even have a dog paw emoji on here somewhere. So if you like dogs, there you go. Here they have the fire emoji. But for this particular case, I'm going to choose the happy face emoji, all right? Actually, this one. This one actually looks cool. So if you like programming, this would be perfect for you. So tap on next. And then from here, here's the issue. This is a feature that has functionality, but we're trying to get something that just looks cool. So you actually might not want the functionality. So here's what you do. Um, this feature is supposed to block notifications on your iPhone so you can focus. And it's made so that you can focus in certain apps or on certain home screens. Now, the issue with this would be, you just want something cool on your iPhone, but now you're not gonna get any texts from people. So what you wanna do is, where it says allow calls, you wanna select it to everyone. So you will allow calls from everyone, and you want to select the people you want to receive notifications from. Once you do that, tap on allow, and then allowed app notifications, you're going to want to select the apps that you want to receive notifications from. So maybe FaceTime, Snapchat, things like that. You want those notifications uh, to come through. So you want to tap allow or you could tap allow none. Next, when it says focus is ready, tap on done and you can go ahead and turn it on. Now it's cool as you can choose to have certain emojis show uh, depending on if you're on the home screen or the lock screen. So you can get pretty customizable with this. In my particular case, go ahead to your control center and turn it on or off like so. You can now see I have the coding brackets in my status bar. So if you're a coding enthusiast, you can also see it's right here as well. And um, I think it looks pretty cool. It can add some personality to your iPhone, whereas in the past, people would jailbreak their iPhones to do a feature like this. So you can make it so every time you swipe on your home screen to a different app page, that emoji changes. So the way you do that is just by creating a new icon and have it set for a specific home screen page. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. More videos are coming your way. And as always, peace.